Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at percents and fractions today, calculating percents and changing between fractions and percents. What you can expect to see in this lesson is that we'll go from a fraction to a percent, we'll then turn around and do a percent into a fraction, and as a bonus fun part, we'll also do the percent of an amount like 15% of 100 is whatever. And we'll, we'll show you how to calculate that as well. It's pretty quick. Let's talk about fraction to a percent. First off, a fraction means out, or I'm sorry, not a fraction, a percent means out of 100. That's what it means. So you, if you write it as a fraction, it's simply over 100, something over 100. That really is a, a terrible color. I apologize for that. I'll do better next time. So if I'm going to change 7 over 20 into a percent, I could simply change it to a fraction over 100. Now this works sometimes. So I'm going to show you this method because it's really fast when it works. And then when it does not work, I'll show you another way to figure out the percentage as well. But if we're trying to calculate the percent 7 over 20 as a percent, I would say it equals what over 100? What is it out of 100? Because remember, a percent is something out of 100. So I look at this number and I say 20 to be made into 100. What do I do? This is, um, I've called it in the past my what happened method. What happened to 20? that made it into 100. Well, 20 times 5 is 100, so I would do the same on the top and bottom, and that would give me 35 over 100. All right, so 7 over 20 is 35 over 100, which means it's 35 per cent. All right, let's look at another one here real quick, just to, um, um, just to kind of, whoops, get an idea. 13 out of 50 is what over 100? I look at this fraction, and you can solve using cross multiplying here as well, um, but I'm going to use the what happened method just to, to keep things pretty straightforward. What happened to 50 to get me to be 100? Well, 50 times 2 is equal to 100, so I also multiply the top times 2. 13 times 2 gives me 26 over 100. 26 out of 100 is 26 per cent. Um, so that's one method. If you can easily see, oh, my fraction, um, the denominator can easily be made into 100. So if this is a fraction out of 20, 25, 10, um, something like that, this method might be a good shortcut. Now for all other fractions, you can um, solve it in this way, like I said, using cross multiplying, or you can just do division. So I'm going to show you how to do this um, using division. This will work for every single fraction. It could have worked. We could have used this method for our previous fractions. Um, 7 over 8, a fraction of 7 over 8, means 7 divided by 8. That's what a fraction means. So just go ahead and divide it. Um, you can't um, 8 won't go into 7 because 8 is greater than 7. So we're going to add the 0 there. And how many times does 8 go into 70? It goes in 8 times. 8 times 8 is 64. We subtract and get 6. And then we bring down that 0. How many times does 8 go into 60? It goes in 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. Then we subtract. We'll get 4. Bring down the 0. How many times does 8 go into 40? 5 times. And, and then we finally get a nice even number. Now, um, I did not show you all of the, I showed you all of the steps, but I didn't explain all of the steps thoroughly. This is doing long division. If you're not familiar with doing long division, um, there are other videos that show you how to do all of the steps for that. But um, this is sort of a prerequisite that you would know how to do long division say 7 divided by 8 is equal to 0 0.875. Now, 0 0.875, this is a decimal. And converting between a decimal and a percent is just about the easiest thing that we can do. 
We can do it in a couple of different ways. But first off, just remember that the number here, in this case 7, is in the hundredths column. That is 8, 7, and 5. The 7 is in the hundredths column. So it's 87 hundredths and, and a 5. Okay, so this number here is going to be the one that, that we can kind of move the decimal over to there. And that would be, instead of being 87 hundredths, it would be 87%, and then that decimal of 0.5 off the end. Basically, you're moving the decimal two places. So you can remember it in lots of different ways. You can remember it as 87 hundredths. Oh, that means 87 over 100. That's 87%. And then we've got a 0.5 on the end there. Or you can just move the decimal over two places. You could also take this, this decimal and multiply it times 100. Any of those methods work. But for me, the simplest way is just move the decimal over two places. Remember that your second place is the hundredths, so that's where you want to stop for, for percents. Percents are hundredths, okay? So that is how you would do using a, the division method. Just divide the number and move the decimal over two places to the right. Pretty straightforward. All right. The next part is when we are converting from a percent into a fraction. Percent, remember, means out of 100. It means a fraction over 100. Still a terrible color for this rectangle. I will get better by the end of this video, don't worry. All right, so if I have the number 20%, that means 20 over 100. There we go. Converting from a percent to a fraction is super easy. Just put it over 100. Um, there is one thing that we need to remember, and that's that we have to simplify the fractions into lowest terms. All right, we do have to reduce our fractions to lowest terms. So 20% means 20 over 100. We reduce this or simplify it into lowest terms. To do that, we divide by our greatest common factor. In this case, that's 20. 20 divided by 20 is 1. 100 divided by 20 is 5. So 20% is equal to 1 fifth we've converted from a percent into a fraction. All you do is put it over to over 100 and simplify it. I've got um, a sample here for you. Go ahead and pause the video. Try and convert this percent into a fraction. And now I'm going to show you how I would do that. I would start with my first step, put it over 100. Then I have to remember to simplify 32 over 100. I need to divide the top and bottom of this fraction by the greatest common factor. Greatest common factor in this case is 4. 32 divided by 4 gives me 8. 100 divided by 4 gives me 25. 32% is 8 out of 25. That's it. Converting percents into fractions look like that. Sometimes you'll get um, a prime number like, or a number that does not have any f uh, common factors with 100, like 13. 13% would just be 13 over 100. You would not need to simplify it down. It's done. Um, so converting from a percent into a fraction is actually one of the easier things that we need to do with percents. Our final step is that we're going to find the uh, percent of an amount. We have to remember two things with this. First off, the word of means multiply. That's, that is going to be the case for this, and it will help us out. If we remember the word of means multiply. Also, 0 0.01 is 1 one hundredth or 1%. One Here's another example of that. 0.12 is 12 hundredths, or in other words, 12%. We talked about that earlier. Just want to emphasize that point because that is going to make our life a lot easier. If we remember that that second number on the right of the decimal, that's the number that we take for our percent. All right, so if we're asked to calculate 15% of 80, this is easy if we just change the words into numbers. So this can be easily written as a math question. I like to color code things. I think it makes it a little bit easier. So 15%, that can be written as 0.15. Of can be written as multiplication, and 80 is 80. 
So now we have a simple math question of 0.15 times 80. This is the easiest way, in my opinion, of converting a percent of an amount to actually getting the number. Now I just calculate 0.15 times 80 is equal to 12. That means 15% of 80 is 12. Let's do another one here. Again, you can pause the recording and try this one out. What's 12% of 93? We're going to write it out as a math question. I'm going to color code. 12% is 0.12. Of is multiplication. 93 is 93. So 0.12 times 93 gives us 11.16. That's it. So finding the percent of an amount, if you're asked to find um, some percent of an amount, just write it out in a simple math question and you're done. So what did we expect at the beginning? We expected to talk about fractions to percent, percent to fraction, and calculating the percent of amount. How did we do? I think we covered all of those topics. I hope it was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.